commuting chaos hit over a dozen lines as rain flooded the transit system, producing waterfalls on metro station platforms and pools of water inside some Long Island Railroad train cars. A deluge of rain turned the city subway system to strap hangar soup during rush hour Monday, with dozens of riders sharing pictures of water pouring to whining and channels of delays. Rider Josh Guild posted video of a torrent of water sloshing down the steps of a number one subway station in Harlem. The flooding became so heavy at the 145th Street station that northbound number one trains started to skip the station around 10.30 a.m. Even without the rains, the morning rush had a rough start. A train with mechanical issues at 34th Street Herald Square held up service at 6.30 a.m. There were service changes and delays on the B, D, E, F, G and M until for about 45 minutes. The delays kept piling up, however, when signal problems hit 34th Street Herald Square at 9.45 a.m., holding up B, D, F and M trains. Down the lines in Brooklyn, signal problems at Avenue X and Avenue J delayed northbound F and B trains. Sick riders also slowed down the commute at Hoyt Shermerhorn on the A line, at 59th Street, holding up the numbers 4, 5 and 6 trains, and at Junction Boulevard, disrupting number 7 line service. Switch problems at Church Avenue around 9.30 a.m. delayed F and G service even further. In the Bronx, a burning insulator forced transit crews to temporarily cut third rail power on the numbers 2 and 5 line, causing delays from trains backed up. NJ Transit suspended service on several lines due to the steady downpour, including the River Line service, Hudson Bergen Light Rail service, and North Jersey Coast Line. The streets in Jersey City were largely flooded, as well. Hudson Bergen Light Rail service is subject to 30-minute delays in both directions due to a disabled train north of Essex Street, the rail service said in a tweet. The rain also brought havoc on Jersey City, New Jersey, streets that were flooded, and for drivers trying to negotiate their way in and around New York City. Police shut down the northbound lanes on the Henry Hudson Parkway due to severe flooding. Grand Central Parkway near 48th Street was also closed. In Staten Island, a minivan became submerged in water on Bayview Avenue near Highland Boulevard in Princes Bay at about 8.45 a.m., officials said. The fire department pushed the vehicle out of the water and nobody was injured, according to the FDNY. In Newark, the fire department's urban water rescue unit rescued at least six people in submerged vehicles in the Ironbound District, which is adjacent to the Passaic River. The rescue unit used rafts and other water rescue equipment to transport motorists to higher ground levels, the Newark Police Department said in a public safety notice. Travelers flying out of John F. Kennedy Airport and other local airports were also tied up by the extreme weather conditions.